Hi, I'm George Cow. So in the internet marketing world, there is a popular term called a tripwire. And you have probably experienced a tripwire before. Let me explain what it is. You get on someone else's email list and soon you get an offer to buy a low priced product. Maybe it's $7, maybe it's $47, maybe it's $97, but it's much lower priced than some of their other offerings. If you buy it, you then set up, set off an internal tripwire, tripwire in their system, which then they will start to try to sell you higher priced products, maybe through uh, other web pages or maybe through emails. They'll try to sell you higher priced products. And so this, the term tripwire comes from, was popularized by um, digitalmarketer.com, I think. I don't even remember his name, Ryan something. But I really dislike that term. And I'll tell you why. Because I don't think it's ethical and I don't think it's necessary to use the term tripwire and even to use that philosophy of, because think about what tripwire means. It comes from the predator-prey interaction, right? When, when we're trying to catch a prey, okay, we set up a trap, a tripwire, that if they activate the trap, then something happens where eventually they get caught, right? And that's really where the, the term comes from. Um, it's just, it sets off in some kind of internal alarm that will, uh, it's, it's, you know, something happens to the, the, the one who sets off the alarm. And so the term tripwire is really from that uh, dynamic, from that relationship. And so let me ask you, is that the kind of relationship you want to build with your audience, with your prospective clients, with your tribe? I hope not. I don't think so. And I always like to remind us of the golden rule. And we can apply the golden rule in our business and in marketing. And the golden rule is basically, how would you like to be treated? And even better questions, how would you like your loved ones to be treated? How would you want your family members to be treated? How would you want your best friends to be treated? Do you want them to be treated like a prey and the marketers like a predator? Obviously not. Do you want your loved ones and your friends to be manipulated into buying higher priced items? Obviously not. And so let's not do that, of course, in our marketing and in our business. But it takes conscious decision, right? Because we're being taught by these marketers who are so unconscious about what they're really teaching us. And so I'm sometimes feeling like I'm, I'm in a lone voice in the woods crying out for a more conscious way to think about our business and to think about marketing. So let's stop using the term tripwire. And instead, let's think about building a relationship of true caring and service for our people, okay? And in building a relationship of caring and service, uh, of course, you give away lots of content and sometimes you, you may have an offering that is too high priced for your audience because they're not comfortable with it. So you may decide to offer something lower priced, but not as a tripwire, but you do it out of a sense of, okay, I have different levels in my audience. Some are less comfortable with spending more money and some are more comfortable. So I'm going to offer something that's, le that's for people who are less comfortable spending money. I'm going to offer something lower priced and it's less investment for them. It's less investment for me. And I truly want to serve them well with that lower priced item. And if they like it, if they love it, then they may decide that they want to buy something higher. But it's not, I'm not selling it to them as a way to try to get them to buy something more. I'm selling it to them as a way because that's really what they're comfortable with. Okay, and if they decide to go to another tier and buy something else later, that's great. And I'm not just, I'm not going to try to sell them every step of the way. Okay, I'm going to let them make a decision and I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to mostly serve them, give them free content and occasionally say, if you're ready, if you're ready. So it's not a way to manipulate you and like, oh, I, I saw you buy the earlier item. So I'm going to try to, if you're ready, here's something that may serve you better. And if it does, I hope you'll consider it. That's all. You build a relationship. You think about a long-term relationship with your audience and with your ideal client, and you do that in your marketing. Don't, let's make a conscious decision to stop using the terms that other marketers are teaching us, tripwires and you know, bribes, ethical bribes. There's no such, no such thing as an ethical bribe, okay? It's a bribe is something that's kind of, by very, its very definition is something that's tricky. It's something that's non-transparent. It's something that is not above board. Let's do our marketing in a transparent, caring, service-oriented, relationship-oriented way. You don't try to manipulate in relationships. I hope not, okay? You try to, this is an adult-to-adult -adult relationship. And that's actually one of the problems with marketers. A lot of times they think they're, they're trying to manipulate children here.
No, it's an adult to adult relationship. There's free will. We serve as an adult to an adult, okay? And, we, and we, we're making friends here, okay? We're not trying to manipulate people. So I hope that this is helpful for us to make a conscious decision. And until the next video, I wish you truly ethical and truly authentic marketing that brings you true fulfillment in your business. Be well.